Good morning, my subscribers. <laughs> that was so bad. So we're starting off the day in the best way possible, and that is we're picking up the final pieces to the manual swap for the white E36. I'm on my way to my buddy's shop now. He uh, He's at work, so he left them outside for me. I'm gonna go grab them. Uh, we'll have the pedals, the master, the line, throw those in today, uh, complete the manual swap, and then we'll be able to finally put everything together in the engine bay, and hopefully we'll have a mainly almost running and driving E36 M3 by tonight. That's the goal. Nice work. So we got the manual brake pedal and the clutch pedal and the master is actually built in. Beamers are super weird. And then they have this like quick connect fitting for it. It's, they're a pain in the ass, but this will do the job. Last piece of the puzzle. I work on trailers. What are you doing? Listening to 80s music and working on trailers. Nice work, guy. Thanks. Now it's time to just suck it up and get underneath there. All right, get this thing out of there. And now everything should be uh, fully exposed. There we go. So we have to remove those two and the two up there. That looks like a huge pain in the ass. And then that bolt. And then everything that's just kind of like stuck around it. All right. Getting back in to me a lot harder. All right, so this part's pretty cool. So before we put the pedals in, we actually have to make sure we have the holes in the firewall ready. So we can add the line from the reservoir and then the line that goes out to the slave cylinder. So, so if I remember correctly, there should just be something we could, oh yeah, look at this thing, ready? We should just poke, <laughs> that's great. Look at this, poke right through it. And there we go. Nice little tunnel to the engine bay. And there should be one right, Oh, yep. Yeah. Looks like they're already using it for some stupid alarm system. So we're gonna take our soft line right here and we're gonna feed it through the top hole. Shove it through. So the line came through nice and easy and all we have to do is basically put it on that little nipple down there. But first we just have to give it a quick little circumcision. And then we can just... Just pop it on. So my goal is to just throw this thing in there now. I should really take out the driver's seat and just lay on the ground, but it make my life difficult. A few moments later. All right, so I don't remember where I left off, but I think we were trying to get the pedals in and I thought it was gonna be easy peasy, ready to go, but I, it's two hours now and uh, I had to take the pedals in and out like four times. Um, the feed line and the return line my friend gave me just would not line up for crap, like at all. So I had to do a lot of bending, I had to do a lot of prying, I had to do a lot of everything to make it work, and I got it good, we're ready to go. And the pedals are now just done. I hate just jumping to things being done, but it happened. All the bolts are in, we're ready to go, and uh, we officially have a third pedal. Hell yeah. Now, I always have such a hard time bleeding these clutches. Um, I don't know why, they're always a pain in the ass, so I'm gonna deal with that later. So, next part of the puzzle is I wanna start throwing everything back on the engine, which I guess I could have did a few days ago. I thought it would be more intrusive with the whole pedal install, but honestly it wasn't. So I played myself. But uh, first thing we have to do is we have to figure out where all this stuff goes, because I have no idea. So we're just going to start plugging stuff in, hope everything's good, and uh, just doing that. <laughs> Are they manual or electric? They're electric. Well, he has no battery. I'm not moving all the bikes to push it in. I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Learn your lesson. That's like the eighth time he's left any car window open Oops. every time. <laughs> What's up, Brody? How are you? Came to see uh, the new frustration. Yeah, so I just got a few things plugged in, as you could probably not tell. I don't know, it looks neater than the last clip, probably. So, uh, you want to just plug some things in for me, dude? All right, try it. Nice job. Start it. Yeah. Everything like lines up pretty decent. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot more annoying than it actually is. Um, the only thing that's killing me is um, I can't find the most important plug, and that's the cam sensor or the crank sensor. You just drool. You just drool on a boy. 
I think there's a short somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. God. See what you should have done, like any smart person would have done. Like I wonder if that's done. a crank sensor. Ow. No, I doubt. I think it's a fake automatic transmission. <laughs> Just like we thought. There's a sub harness that we forgot about. So this actually plugs into the crank sensor. And then this plugs into other things. Who would have thought? All right, so this filming has been horrendous, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to rush through this thing because I'm dying to hear it fire because that should have happened a week ago. But um, looks like everything I need to plug in is plugged in. At least I think so. I rerouted the coolant line that used to go through the throttle body just from here back into the head. Uh, got the coolant lines ran and... Uh, Hopefully everything's plugged incorrectly. So I guess it's now time to get the intake manifold on. So the two important pieces that need to be hooked up underneath the manifold is one, I got a control valve right here. It kind of just clicks into the manifold. It's really weird. And then we have this little PCV piece. Oh man, it's a tight fit. We're all hooked up. A little PCV line right here. And uh, the IX still fully open. I have to plumb that into the intake piping, which I'll figure out very soon. But now we're just gonna throw in the injectors, we can throw in the harness, do the fuel lines, and uh, we're getting really close. What do you think, Trav? You're doing great. Right, man? Mm -hmm. I, need a, I need a hype man today, because it's been yeah. really boring, all right? Well. Rainy well, ass day. I finished my car pretty much, now I'm here to motivate. Thank you, and you're gonna film for me. Yeah. Nice work, installed. Clip party! <laughs> this thing's almost ready to rock and roll. Oh, that was lame. I shouldn't say that. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> I've, this has been a big, like, parts hunt the whole time because there's so many parts I've been, like, hidden in this car, like, under the seats, in the trunk, under everything, and, uh... I just didn't think I had a math, and I just found one, which is sick! It's one less thing I gotta buy, but, um... I can't find a throttle body anywhere. My... My spare engine didn't come with one, and there's not one in this car that I can find. So the scavenger hunt is not working out here. But I do have an SM50 throttle body. Is it the same? Oh yeah, TPS plugs in. She's a keeper. Bingo. Oh man, it doesn't fit. God damn it. This thing just hits. Yeah, that makes sense. I found a throttle body. I played myself. It was actually on my part shelf. Yeah, I'm a dummy dude. All right, so that's how it sits. I'm gonna go find some new bolt to get back to you. Cut. <laughs> I think we're almost ready to fire this thing. So we're almost ready to try and fire this thing up. I'm gonna say try. Um, everything worked out pretty good up top. Uh, no complaints. I'm happy. I didn't have to rig anything. But uh, now I just gotta drain the training fluid for whatever's in it. Put some more in it. Put some engine oil in it, and then. <laughs> nice work. Oh, this stuff is fresh. Those moments when you regret draining it because the fluid in it looks really nice. I hate doing this. I want to see the no fun, fun, no funnel gang challenge, right? No funnel gang challenge. No funnel gang. Put it on Instagram. <laughs> tag me in it. No funnel gang challenge. Here we go, boys. We're gonna spill it. No second tries. All right. The goal is to always start a little farther ahead of it so it can kind of drip down. Ready? Skirt. Ooh. No funnel gang. Oh! oh! Save it, Travis. It's dripping down. I played myself. Mm -hmm. Oh! Travis, get it. <sighs> Only thing I'm worried about is tie if I time the Vanos wrong because it's really easy to mess it up. I think I got it right, but I could have got it wrong. Time will tell. Everything's plumbed up, I think, besides the coolant, but that's fine. Uh, we, we, we're not going to let it run for that long. So I pulled the fuel... Oh, I'm pulling it now. Fuel pump fuse. Travis, hold on to this. Um, so obviously we can just let the engine crank, build some oil pressure, because it's been sitting for a really long time. It's a fresh head. Took the battery out of my 240. Ready to rumble, and the chassis officially has power for the first time. So, let's see. Oh, nice. Pretty cool. So, oh cool, the key's in here. Nice. 
All right, so I had to jump. Oh, chill. So I had to jump the neutral safety switch right there. Hopefully that's correct. And uh, I'm really nervous. I'm really excited. All right, let's see if you crank. So that's kind of the first one. Okay. Doesn't crank. I think I I uh got the wires backwards, <laughs> so it should. Which is kind of scary, because it cranks like it has no compression. <laughs> oh my god, this thing cranks really fast, right? Yeah. Let's hope it's cranking fast, because this thing's a gunner, and not because it has no compression, right? I'm pretty sure I put spark plugs in here. We'll find out. Uh, let's put that fuse back in and try and start it. So this gas in it is dumb old, but it should still start it, you know? I'm not worried about it. We should have fuel now. Fingers crossed. Some stank fuel, but we should have fuel. Ready, guys? Send it. You boys ready? Yep. Here. Oh, it's not tight. It's finger tight. Bastard. Oh. I'm an idiot. I'm pissed. What? Hey, if this is the only leak, I'm just, everything was so nice and clean. I had to take it out earlier to do the cam sensor, so that's why. All right, so it started, which is sick. It's just misfiring, which is probably something stupid. Which is Not good. Not good. What would it, what kind of beamer would it be if it didn't leak oil? Fix the leak. Hopefully, that's the only leak, and we're gonna. I'm gonna pull coil packs to see uh, where the misfire is coming from. So, you ready? Yep. Start her up. Oh, it's, it's missed. Yeah. That's an M3. Yeah, it's the top end's a little noisy because hey, it's got to bleed out. But uh, hey, it's idling. Dude, SP done. First try. I mean, it's stock as a rock, but still, it's a good feeling. Oh, that's got some fucking force to it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. I'm fucking hyped. All right, killer Chris has got no pull in. All right, just take it in for three seconds. I don't like a dream. I'm so happy. Nice work. That's crazy. That's good. All right, so as you guys saw, it started up, I'd say first try. Let's not count that first time. That was a gimmick. But uh, unfortunately, it leaked oil in like the worst spot possible. It leaked all over the pulleys and just sprayed it everywhere. There's oil on everything because it was just, I'm really excited. Uh, that engine sounds insanely healthy. Uh, I mean, I was, I was pretty nervous. Um, but it sounds great. I mean, we still got to do a couple heat cycles before we're in the clear. Uh, make sure head gas is good and everything. But um, shifter linkage feels kind of shitty. So we're going to order a new shifter linkage. I should have just did it from the beginning. But whatever. And uh, besides that, I got to bleed the clutch. Uh, I tried to do it earlier, and it was just being a pain in the ass. These clutches are so pain. Like, I always have an issue bleeding these clutches. I don't know why. But do that. Button up the interior. Get it all back together. Um, get the front end back on. I mean, we still got a lot of work to do, but we're making great progress. I'm so excited. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is a really good day, really good progress. And uh, hopefully in the next two days, we'll be driving the thing around. So um, with that, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.